hello, real women of Philadelphia. Hey, Paula. And hello to all of my girlfriends that I've met online during this contest. I just want to say that I am enjoying this so much. I am really enjoying getting to know you guys. My name is Regina Williams. I live in McDonald, Georgia, and I come by way of Albany, Georgia, because I was born and raised there. What I want to do today is introduce you guys to a dish that I've been making, a little appetizer, or d'oeuvre, as we like to call it here. It's called a Philadelphia cream cheese baguette nelly. I started making it about 10 years ago, and my daughter Candace, she mastered it. So I figured if Candace can do it, anybody can do it. Three. Okay, girls, what I did earlier, I actually roasted six cloves of garlic. I took my garlic and I roasted them. I put a little salt and pepper on them and a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Put them in the oven for about five minutes, you know, rotating them from side to side. And I don't know how to do that little thing like Paula does it and Guy and everybody else does. You know, that, that is artistry. It's like going to get your eyelashes put on. I'm like, how do they do that? But you know what? One day I'm going to know how to do that. I'm not a chef, but I'm a cook. So what I did, I took that garlic and I put it in here and I went, and guess what I got? Chopped garlic. Girls got to do what a girl's got to do. Right here I have my favorite girlfriend, my Philadelphia brand cream cheese. This is going to be the first layer on the baguette. So what you want to do, you want to take it, make sure that it's room temperature. Put it in a bowl. Of course, I already have some of this in the refrigerator. Because what I like to do, I like for mine to marinate overnight. I just think it makes it a whole lot better. Or you can kind of put it in the refrigerator. Make sure you put it in the refrigerator at least two hours so all the flavors can incorporate together. Here is my garlic. And what I wanted to do with this dish, guys, I want everybody to be able to taste layer by layer. This is the pan that I roasted some additional garlic in. So I like to get all of the drippings. You know, call me a country girl if you want to. But I want everything inside the dish. And then you just take it. You're going to have to whisk it in. And it seems like it's a little thick. But go ahead, whisk it in. I think I'm going to just get a spoon and put all of that in together. And all you do is whisk those items and those ingredients. Okay, what I'm getting ready to do now, guys, I'm going to put just a little bit of kosher salt. What you have to do with your recipes, you have to get to know them. Um, I'm going to put a little cracked black in here because I love cracked black pepper. But like I said, get to know your recipe. You know, you can take somebody else's recipe, but get to know it for yourself. Taste it, master it, and become the queen of it. So we're, what we're going to do is, I'm just going to take that right there. We're going to put this in the refrigerator and let it hang out. So it can kind of like get to know everything else in it, and it'll be so great. We have a layer going on. It's a whole lot of stuff, you know, happening here for our medley. So what I did earlier, I took one vine ripe tomato. I love vine ripe tomatoes. And I kind of dice it up a little bit. See, y'all, I told you I can't do it the way they do it, but I can do the best that I can. I still love to cook. I took half of a jalapeno with the seeds in it. So ranch roll, gotta love it. Everybody loves it. And I made a salsa. And I took one lime. I love this little gadget right here. Put it in there. Let the juice just kind of like flow into it. Sprinkle with a little salt. Sprinkle with a little pepper. And that's your salsa. And then you just put it in the fridge. Okay, girlfriends. What you need to do now is take your baguettes. I normally get mine from my local grocery. And I take a little salt and pepper and put them on it and a little bit of EVOO and just put them in the oven for maybe like five minutes. So that's what you need to do right now. Three. Okay, what I did earlier, I went to my local market and I bought some 
sugar sweet Vidalia onions. So what I'm going to do, I love Vidalia onions. Love them. If you're not from the South, you need to have somebody to ship you some. And I'm going to take probably like three of these right here. And I love these because they got the little bags on top of them. But I'm going to take three of these. Cut them off at the bottom. I like to take the little bim off of the top of mine because I don't like that. Because I like to have all of my stuff clean. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to chop them. And then I'm going to put these in the uh, bacon grease that I used from my Applewood smoked bacon earlier. And I'm just going to do some caramelized onions. Okay, what I did earlier, I fried four strips of the Applewood smoked bacon. And I kind of like crunched it up right there. All of the drippings I put in here. So I'm going to saute my caramelized onions in that, lady. So you see what it's doing? All you need to do is put a little bit of kosher salt in it. Don't have it up too high. Put a little cracked black pepper in it. And what I like to do to mine, I actually like to put one teaspoon of onion powder right there. And the next time you see me, we're going to be putting all this stuff together. Okay, as you can see, I've already started putting together most of my little baguettes. So what I have here, I have the cream cheese mixture. And I just absolutely love that sample. Oh my guess is your they would think I'm cheating, but I can cheat. And right here I have the caramelized onions. And what I like to do with these, I just like to spread them around. Then we have the salsa. And for my bacon, I just like to put it on there like that. And then maybe dollop a little bit of more of the cream cheese. So let's just kind of like it. No, it looks a little messy, but that's okay. We're just going to do that and put it right here. Mm. Put the right, I tell you guys, it's so good. And what I like to do is just sprinkle a little bit of oregano on top. That's about it. Okay, just had to take one off the tray and show it to you guys before my other guests came. Look at that. You see the cream cheese and that roasted garlic? And then I just dollop a little bit on top. You can see. Oh, look at that salsa with that lunch roll and those jalapeno peppers. These are going to be great for my guests. And I'm going to meet you guys outside. Look at here, guys. I'm waiting on my guests to get here. But I wanted to go ahead and sample this before they got here because they'll think I'm cheating. Let's see. Delicious. I have an auntie named Delicious. This is absolutely delicious. Who would name their daughter Delicious? Guys, we had a beautiful tablescape. Wanted to share something with you. This is plastic. I mean, these are glasses, and this is glass, but this is plastic wrap. Make sure you cover your glasses before your guests get here, so when they come, they'll have a fresh, clean glass for all of their cocktails. Remember, hug the ones you love, and if you meet a stranger, always be an angel. I'm enjoying this. Look forward to next week. Bye, guys.